when I see a nice camel seven, if I don't uh, own that camel, I like it. I am with the beautiful camels, even I own them or not. This is Al Dafra Festival. It's the Super Bowl of camel pageantry. <laughs> Each December, 25,000 camels descend on this remote area of the UAE's western region. Their owners come here from across the Gulf, each with the hope their camels will be crowned most beautiful. We just joined up with a camel caravan. This camel has an entourage of maybe 10 or 15 cars, all of them very high-end luxury SUVs and part of the pageantry involved and the showmanship involved in this festival is people like to parade their camels into the grandstand. They'll go all the way from their camp, sometimes two or three kilometers away and parade them up to the grandstand. And the bigger the showmanship, the bigger the entourage, the better. Like beauty contestants, winning camels attract huge fan bases. Some camels have their own hashtags on Instagram and fans will even write poems about their beauty. Famous camels also attract many high cash offers. This stretch here is called Million Street because over the course of the festival's two weeks, millions of dirhams are exchanged here as people buy and sell camels trying to outmaneuver their competitors. The amount of money involved in this festival and in camels in general in the UAE is staggering. This group here is dancing for their camel. They're trying to attract possible buyers. Is this camel for sale? Is this camel for sale? Yeah. For how much? Uh, 200. Uh, 200,000? Yeah. Durham? Yeah. Camels can be sold for millions of dirhams. But the more expensive the camel, the more discreet the owners are. What is the most you've sold a camel for? I just uh, sold one like two months ago with good price, but I'm not saying that, yeah. Have you sold a camel for more than one million dirhams? Yeah. More than two million dirhams? No. Don't be tricky with me, man. <laughs> <laughs> what makes a camel sell for so much? Market demand is helped by sheikhs who will drop millions on the right ones. But people don't buy blindly. There are a lot of factors that dictate price. Age, color, height, competition history. Mohammed Al Shamsi has been around camels his whole life. His father is one of the judges at the festival. They see how tall the neck is when the camel rises up. They see here the space between the chest. And they see the space from the end of the neck until the start of the hump. Until the beginning of the hump. How tall is it, how good it is. And they see the position of the hump on the back of the camel. And they see the place from the end of the hump until the beginning of the tail. Is it enough for a rider or it's not enough? The biggest competition at Al Dafra is the Barak, or best herd. The person with the best 50 camels wins a Nissan Patrol and one million dirhams. It requires a significant amount of capital just to be able to enter. This year, the two favorites to win are Sheikh Tiab bin Saif Al Nayan and Mohammed Saleh Al Amari, who goes by Bin Mugrin. Bin Mugrin and his family have won every other competition at Al Dafra, but this one. And while they desperately want to win it, they won't discuss their strategy. It's impossible to hide 50 camels, and yet, competitors try to keep their roster a secret for as long as possible. It's all part of a carefully orchestrated march to the UAE's ultimate camel prize. 
in the vetting process is serious. Veterinarians carefully check to make sure the camels are in good health and haven't been given any extra beauty help, like hair coloring or the camel equivalent of Botox injections. Yes, that is a thing. They also register the camels by scanning chips implanted in their necks and shoulders. Today's the big day. The camels are all in their pens waiting to be judged and the owners are up in the stands. And when you get this close to them, they're pretty big. It's impressive. Waiting for results is stressful. In the end, Sheikh Tia bin Saif Al Nayan took home the ultimate prize. The catch? He entered the competition under his 10 year old daughter's name. For Ben Mugrin and his family, the elusive Berek remains just that. But there will always be next year. The competition has no signs of losing popularity among younger generations. I don't want to, like what my father, my grandfather worked for, just go away. I want to continue with this thing. Because now, until now, my camels are in my whole life.